Hmm, my most memorable holiday memory. One time, it was Christmas and it was Christmas Eve, and my dad was cooking, and he was sewing up the bird, you know, and he was doing it with one of those like needles that you use to sew up the bird. Yeah, you know, my dad was doing. It. And uh, I had a cat at the time, and all of a sudden, my dad went. He went to do, some, do something with the gravy or whatever. He came back to the bird, and he was like, "Where'd that needle go?" And he looks over. My cat has a string hanging out of his mouth, and he's like, Where? and it's just like, ah. My dad calls me. I was like on my way over, and he's like, "The cat is like swallowed this thing." And I'm with a bird, and the house is gonna burn down. He, I ended up spending the entire Christmas Eve with my cat at the veterinary hospital. <laughs> trying to figure out how they could get this thing out of his stomach. And he was just perfectly happy. Like, it had not harmed him at all. He was just sitting there with the string coming out of his mouth. Just like, what? I love getting a huge group of family together. I mean, I have so much fun with my entire family. And I have a lot of them. And we're all over the country. But it's, it's always great when we all get together and just spend that time. Skiing with my grandpa, who's like super old now. He's still like one of the fastest guys down the hill and he's uh, in his 80s. My dad is German, and so what we do is, the German people have this tradition where you have like this ornament, a pickle ornament, and you leave it out for Santa, and then Santa comes and like eats the cookie, and then hides the pickle. It's not a real pickle, it's like a glass, like, and it's, so we have one that's sparkly, and it's so weird. And then you put it in the ornament, and you hide it in there, and then when, when, the, when me and my sister, when we wake up, we have to go and like search the tree to find the, the so, pickle ornament, and so whoever Easter, does it gets a prize. It's Easter round two. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. yeah, like a, but it's it's just a German thing, I guess. <laughs> the favorite gift was Chewbacca doll. It's just like one of my whole families together: my sister, my dad, my mom, myself. It's great. It's gonna be good this year because they're coming out to my home now. I walked across a campfire once. <laughs> at a holiday bonfire and, and really regretted it because I got to the other side of the fire. It was a bonfire, but part of it had gone down. And you know, we were like, come on, do it. And I, and I walked across this huge bed of coals and I got to the other side and, and the bo and my boot, the boot, my boot soles were completely melted. I don't remember. Santa Claus isn't real? <laughs> I just remember. Wait, <laughs> but my parents were always like, we're too broke to buy you all these presents. We didn't buy this stuff. So I moved it for as long as I could and maybe even yeah. a little longer to maintain the, the amount of gifts. Yeah. yeah. Christmas was always uh, a big thing for me. Uh, you know, I remember getting my first bike, my yeah. BMX bike and all that sort of stuff. At my grandparents' house on Christmas Eve, they there's, you know, over 40 grandchildren, so wow. um, every year they have a Santa Claus come and we have to sit on his lap and get our <laughs> present, which is, you know, I refuse to do it now, I'm too old, but <laughs> that's something that they still do every year. The year I've spent New Year's Eve in Times Square was a really big memory for me, for sure. Just the thought that Santa was coming all the way from the North Pole to Quetzalcoatlcos to bring me my gifts and the anticipation of waiting the next morning, you know? I, I, it was, I love Christmas and I, I loved it as a child and it becomes, I had lost a little bit the flavor of it and now that I have a child, she brought it all back to me. I, I, I enjoy it just as much.